Hello YouTube, welcome to my video review about the Fox's kernel on the Oppo Find 5. So let's start up with what is a kernel? Actually, a kernel is on every and is on every device, not only Android devices. But the fun thing about Android is these kernels can actually be hacked and opt optimized. Think of it this way: this is your kernel. These are the applications running on your smartphone. These are your apps. Then you got this as your kernel here. Then you're going to have the hardware of your device here. So what happens is any application that needs some stuff has to go to the kernel. The kernel finds information from the hardware. Like the kernel can allocate the amount of CPU that an application is supposed to use, the amount of battery an application is supposed to use, even the amount of screen estate, everything, and then send it back to the application. When the application needs something, send it down to the kernel. The kernel is going to allocate this amount and send it back to the application. And that's how it works. So what happens with Android actually is, if a kernel is well optimized enough for any task you want to do, it's going to help you save a lot of battery life and give you the maximum performance from your device. And this is just what the Fox's kernel wants to do for you. So now you're going to ask, why install a custom kernel on your device? I'm going to tell you this. Before, I was very, very skeptical on installing for, um, custom kernels on any device. I had the HTC One X before. And... I just used to learn how to install custom ROMs. I didn't know anything about hacking or whatsoever and installing custom things on my device. But then I installed the Fox's ROM, no, it was a Fox's kernel on the HTC One at that time, and it overclocked my device and gave me excellent battery life. And I still didn't know how he did it, but he gave me an overclock, and battery life was perfect, more than any other ROM or kernel I'd ever used. So, if you want to get excellent battery life and performance, you can see this flow. It's all due to the kernel. If the kernel is well optimized, you get everything perfect. So if you want to get it, just install the Fox's kernel. It's going to give you the best of everything your device can offer. Okay, so to get the Fox's kernel, I'm going to be giving you a link down in the description for you to download it. So what this kernel does is it gives me excellent battery life and performance and it's surely the best kernel I've seen on the Oppo Find 5. It makes my Find 5 complete because to me the bugs I didn't really have, I had just really battery issues. So when you download the kernel, first thing you want to do is to head to the Google Play Store, still links down in the description and you download the Fox Clock app. It's a paid app, but it's an app that can really help you utilize this kernel to the fullest. So what happens is, when you open the first clock app, it's a little bit cumbersome. But it's not what you really think. I'm going to guide you through the settings you can get for your, for, for your device. So first thing, as you open the first clock app, you can see here it gives me the CPU tab. In the CPU tab, you can see I've overclocked to 1.7 gigahertz, but this doesn't actually mean it's 1.7 gigahertz. To I would like to tell you guys about something. Um, before there was the Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro processor, and after there was 600, and 600 wasn't really a total different processor from the S4 Pro. It's just an iteration and an overclock of that processor. So once you give it 1.7 gigahertz, it should perform somehow like a 600. So I, I gave it 1.7 gigahertz. It doesn't mean it's 1.7 gigahertz every time. Fox uses something called Turbo Boost, which means actually it's not 1.7 gigahertz. You can see it's very low right now. And it gets only to 1.7 gigahertz only when the CPU needs it. If it's a normal usage, it's always very low. Then you can see for the minimum clock, I set mine to 162 megahertz. That's very, very low. That's my minimum CPU speed. And once you set that up to 162 megahertz, it should give you excellent battery life. 
MP decision. If you see, this is the use of MP decision. It's going to be on when you install this, but you can just you have to put it off because using his kernel, you have to put it off. That's what he says. Eco mode, eco mode actually lets your device become a dual core device and save you a lot of battery life when you're on the road. So if you're going somewhere and you know you're going to be off your charger for a long while, then you have to turn on eco mode to have a lot of battery life saving. It shuts down two cores and it's going to leave the other two cores running as this is a quad core device. Then Snake Charmer just lets all your cores ramp up to the same speed and just follow the same the same CPU speed as you're using it. Next tab we're going to look at is the SOC tab. In the SOC tab, this is how the device is configured to sleep. That's when it's in sleep mode, that's how it's configured to sleep. And now you can see I set mine. Normally it should be set with CO WFI on, then I set my retention on, and from the Nexus 4 tweaks, um, Fox also recommends to set power collapse on, but I didn't set it on, I just let it off because it's my choice, it's my decision for that. And that's pretty much what you should be doing here. That's all about this tab of the SOC tab. Then go to the voltage tab. In this voltage tab, you can control the voltage of your device. And I reduce mine to minus 125, which is relatively low and makes the device heating really, really okay now. The device doesn't heat up at all like it was doing before. Before, it used to heat up a bit, not really like Nexus 4, but it used to heat up. And I used to notice that, but now it's not heating up the white dot. And all of these, if you can see, I put set on boot, all of them set on boot so that it sets on when I'm booting the device then I have the governors governors I just didn't do anything here oh I forgot one thing with CPU you can see I did um, my CPU governor is IntelliJ demand Intel demand is Fox's creation is what Fox did is the governor Fox made to save you battery life and increase your performance at the same time there are many others like on demand interactive as you want but I put in tell demand because I found out it works best for me and okay you get my GPU you can overclock the GPU to what you want I don't want to touch mine there it's 400 megahertz but you can overclock right high but I don't want to change that and you do what you want there you can also change the governor of the GPU as you want iOS scheduler I choose FIOPS from what I saw on the forums I choose FIOPS but I heard FIOPS and RAW are pretty much good and modern and then the me settings you can just see what is about here it doesn't really have much to say you can turn USB fast charge on that's when you connect your USB to a low power USB cable is gonna charge quickly then downloads because the Oppo Find 5 is officially supported if I put on my network like that it's gonna show me if I put on my network it's just it's gonna show me everything about this anyways Normally, if you open the Fox Clock app and the network is on, it's going to show you where to download the the kernel, and every update release will be into built into the app. You can download and flash automatically yourself, which is very very handy. And information is where you can find Fox anywhere. Fox also integrates. He integrates some features like. He has some sound enhancements, but I didn't use them because I think the Dolby sound here is good. One thing though you should note, this works only with the stock ROM or the stock beta ROM. It doesn't work with Firefly, it doesn't work with any AOSP ROMs. So please don't flash these on AOSP or Firefly ROMs as you'll be bricked. And stop asking questions on the forums because he's going to do it when he's going to do it he has some issues with AOSP and things like that just let him do it when he's doing it and I think that was it guys nothing really special just to tell you that this ROM gives me insane and amazing battery life and it also helps me a lot cope with this Find 5 every day 
I think he just made this fan five a device that I would love, love to recommend to others because now the battery life is fixed and the fan five to me is a very, very good device. It's a big surprise to me and it's a very good device. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe to my video channel.